This little mechanical beauty is built by, did you say Lynx in Motion? Lynx Motion. Lynxmotion.com. This has 18 servos as an, and is an official robot. Runs right now on a two cell lithium polymer battery and is completely controlled by my friend Ryan and a PlayStation 2 wireless controller. wireless controller. So it goes through all the little programs and things and controller. Can you actually show me a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so basically in the walking mode, yeah. your left stick controls forward and left and right. And okay. Backward, of course. Go ahead. Give us an example. Okay. So. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. Yes. And the right stick controls the turning. Very cool. And just like in, you know, any decent video game, right? mm -hmm. you can walk and turn at the same time, you can strafe, you can wow. you know, combine movements. And How did you lift a leg to touch my finger? Uh, single leg mode. Uh, so basically, let it sort its legs out, you press the circle button, mm -hmm. and it lifts up a leg, and then you can control that it like that. That is awesome! Push the select button to change which leg you're controlling. Okay. So select changes the legs. Yep. Okay. Circle will go back into normal mode. Okay. Um, you can push. What about attack mode? How did you uh, get it to stand up like that? Well, can... um, you just push the up and down arrows like that. <laughs> and it lift up and <laughs> down. That is disgusting. If you're, say, up here and you want to go, like, it'll walk up like this, but if you want to put it back down yes, to the ground, you push yes. triangle, drops <laughs> her to the ground, lifts her up again. Nice. Uh, so, see. like, when it's frightened, it goes yeah. and crouches like that. And then the, uh, the L buttons, if you push L1, now you're in lean mode, so it'll just kind of... That is amazing. And L2 for tilt mode, so it'll tilt the body. Wow. Rotate or lift it up and down. That is one of the best, coolest robots we have seen in the RC Spark studio. And I say thank you for bringing it in. Because that is disgusting. <laughs> Amazing. That feels like it's aluminum. It is. Yeah. Nice and hard. Yeah. It's a uh, very well cut too. Very high precision holes for the the uh, servo horn. Wiring must have taken you a while, but. Oh uh, yeah, I probably could have done it better, but uh, there's a lot of wiring in there. Yeah. Well, with 18 servos and two BECs, two yeah. Castle BECs. Yep. Out. Yeah, and two uh, lipos in there. It's amazing that you got it in there. Yeah, it's a good build though. You know, they did a lot of uh, a lot of research in this product, and they did a very good job making it an easy kit to build. How so, much for this one? Uh, I believe the kit itself is two fifty, just for the chassis and the legs and okay. all those parts. Two fifty. That doesn't seem too bad. But then well, eighteen servos. Yeah, you can go with cheap servos, expensive servos. It kind of depends on your budget, what you want to do with it. Amazing. My friend, thank you for bringing that in for us to look at. Very, 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 very disgusting. 